Hello everybody, so today's video is actually really exciting and I know I say that like all the time but I am genuinely so 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 excited for this video. Um, you guys have been requesting that I do this for a while, I know some other YouTubers have done it but um, you guys did ask me a while ago to do it and I was like yeah I'll do it, I'll get round to it and I've always been kind of um, not putting it off but I've never gotten round to it and as I hit 40,000 subscribers last week I thought this would be the perfect thing to start to celebrate it because I'm gonna um, turn this into a series well depends if you guys like it or not but it will probably be a series and I just want to quickly address the subscribers thing oh my goodness you guys are actually the best I can't believe it 40,000 people that is just it blows my mind I can't even comprehend that amount of people <laughs> it's just incredible and I'm so so grateful so thank you so much everyone that watches my videos everyone that leaves lovely comments and um, any kind of help you've ever given me uh, stuff like that you guys are so 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 amazing and uh, I really love making videos and I love reading your comments and I do still read my comments I can't always reply because I'm really busy at the moment with school unfortunately but um, I do read all your comments and I do try and reply when I can anyway back onto the subject of the video I actually posted on my Instagram saying I was going to be doing this video and that I wanted some people to send in their OCs uh, for me to draw. I will just quickly clarify for those of you who don't know, an OC is an original character. So these are characters that um, people have designed and they want me to draw. And I have my own original characters, you can probably find them if you scroll back down through my videos, but I haven't drawn them in a while, I've kind of taken a break from drawing my own characters. It's because I did like a contest in the summer and um, it was based around them and I um, was drawing them a lot and then I kind of got sick of drawing my own characters but I do miss drawing them so I probably will do a video of my own character soon maybe an ember drawing or something like that no promises just a maybe um, but yeah posted on my Instagram saying that I wanted people to submit it and I um, created the hashtag Jenna hashtag Jenna draw my OC and I think in total I'm just gonna have a quick look now in total I had 118 people enter so there were quite slim chances and that leads me on to my next point I think I because I'm posting this on Saturday and I'm actually last minute recording this commentary and everything on Saturday because I left it to the last minute and that's why I could only draw two characters but people have entered so many really cool characters that I really want to do another one so I think I could if I work hard enough get two or three more done tonight and have a part two up tomorrow so if you guys want to see a part two let me know like right now so I know to start working on it yeah I had so many awesome entries it's really cool seeing how creative some of these designs are and I tend to choose the ones that I find unique well not saying any of them weren't unique just the ones that intrigue me the most but don't be offended if I haven't chosen your OC uh, there are lots of OCs and it isn't based off how good the person draws or anything like that you're all amazing artists like scrolling through this tag right now I can see and I am honestly I was so flattered to see so many people entered um, so I do really really want to draw some more so I probably will do that tonight there were loads that I saw and I was like oh I really really want to draw these characters so this is just letting you know if you would like to be entered if you would if you have a character that you really really want me to draw I would suggest definitely posting it right now on the hashtag Jenna draw my OC and I will most likely see it and be able to draw your character by tonight if I really like them it is a bit of a half like a random selection half just whatever ones really jump out at me so onto this video the first character that I drew was Mooney Sorrows OC I will have all the details of the artists whose characters I drew and I'll have all their links to their social medias and stuff so you can go follow them because both the artists um, in this video are incredibly talented and I definitely recommend you go follow them and also they create really cool OCs, so yeah. And anyway, uh, the Mooney Sorrows one is this really cute girl and she's called Maya. 
So I asked Munisaurus to tell me more um, information about her and she said that she's a witch who specialises in fortune telling and travels the world with her pet raven Kiar. I hope I'm saying that right. She also has a little nature magic that makes plants grow. She's an orphan and was raised by her grandmother who taught her to tell fortunes using tarot cards. Her grandmother died when she was quite young, leaving her alone, so she keeps moving around because she has no, no family to settle with, but she does get by on her fortune telling and enjoys seeing new places. Let me know if you've got any other questions. So I thought, wow, that's such a cool like backstory and I, looking back on the drawing now, I kind of wish I had included her pet raven on her shoulder or something and had some like tarot cards in the background. I might add that in as some like further detail so when I post it on Instagram I might have that added to it if I have time, which I probably won't, but maybe. And um, I kind of went for a kind of like spacey back background um, because I wanted it to look kind of magical because obviously she's a witch and stuff so I thought that would look really cool and I'm quite happy with how it came out um, I think facially she looks really different to the kind of girls I usually draw and I really like that I was really really happy about that and if any of you guys have seen my everyone you draw looks the same video I think doing these OC drawings is going to be the best way for me to overcome it Drawing someone else's character and interpreting it into my own style is always like, I don't know, it's really fun to do and also I feel like I can get more uniqueness in terms of features and stuff because it's someone else's character, it's someone else's design, it's not from my own head which whereas I tend to be quite like regimented and going for the same kind of look every time. So yeah, I really really love her character, I think she is so so cool. Yeah, her name is Maya and I would definitely like to see more art of her from Moonisaurus in the future because I think she's got such a cool design. And also make sure you go follow Moonisaurus because she's so talented. And yeah, so on to the next character. The next character that I decided to draw is Jin. I don't know how to pronounce that. I really hope I'm saying that right. And Jin is Boaf's character and she said that, um, hang on, I will get the backstory. She said that he is a really sweet and sociable guy. He likes flowers, animals, and even wears dresses and skirts sometimes. He cooks really well, he likes blue a lot, his family owns an inn, and he has chicken, and he loves them. And I thought he had such a cute design, like, oh my goodness, when I saw his face, like, pop up in the, um, Jenna Draw My OC tag, I just thought what a cinnamon roll he looks so cute so I had to draw him um, it was a bit hard to interpret him into my own style because um, I don't tend to draw eyes particularly big and I think that's what gave him like the kawaii kind of look before so I tried my best to make sure he still looked like super cute and I'm really happy with how this came out and I really, really, really love his design. And once again, taking the details that um, Boaf sent me about um, his character, about how he likes flowers and stuff like that. I really wish I had put some like flowers around him or done like a full body illustration and been able to um, dress him in a skirt because that's what she said that um, he likes to wear sometimes and dresses as well. But oh my goodness, a full body illustration would take me so long and I really had to get this video out for you guys so I think in future drawings that I do of people's OCs I will probably try and include more personalised touches to the character and their story and also a lot of people when they entered they didn't actually give me much information about their character and that is um it, that makes it really difficult for me because I wanted to choose some people's characters but um, they hadn't given me much information so if you are using the hashtag make sure you do definitely post like a paragraph or something, something to tell me a little bit more about your character so um, I know what to include when I draw them and stuff like that. But I am really happy with how both the drawings came out and I'm so excited to turn this into a series and I really hope I will be able to get another one out tomorrow. Please, 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 as this is a new series, give me your honest feedback. Did you enjoy it? Is there any points you could make? I'm, I'm kind of wary that I'm going to get some criticism. I don't know why, just people might not like how um, the drawings are like interpreted into my own style because 
um these people have amazing art styles and then i always feel really self-conscious about my art style i'm just like Ugh. also i had someone comment on my video from last week saying am i the only one that hates it when artists are really critical of themselves but that's just what it's like to be an artist you're so critical of yourself all the time because you want to create amazing art and sometimes you feel like it's not good enough well that is the case for me anyway and a lot of my art friends so I just learned to be critical because that helps me improve, but I do think sometimes I can be a bit overcritical. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to submit your OCs as quickly as you can, so there is a chance that I might draw them. Um, and don't worry if I don't draw them, you can always re-enter them again. Uh, so I can draw them in a future episode and I'm hoping this will be a very long series and there'll be lots of episodes to come. Bye guys and I really hope you enjoyed.